And the last one is overwhelm the people, deprive the people of peace and tranquility. And I, I find that when you do have a connection to God, that, that, that gives you that. So it, mm-hmm. it really is a good versus e- evil struggle that we are experiencing right now. Um, it's and creating chaos. Creating right? chaos, because exactly. They yeah. They're distracting you. You know, they tell you the bad news. But the problem is exactly they created they created poverty in the first place because not equal distribution of wealth, right? And then make a big government and then they make every decision because they think they have the best interest of individual, but that's absolutely wrong. You know, so we know the best of what's for us. So they shouldn't be de- make decisions for us. So this is why they're intentionally creating the problem. And then they're pretending to say, oh, I'm, I have a solution. I can solve the problem. And they're starting dividing people because they know people are not seeing things on, on uh, you know, from one perspective. So they use that division and then they further deepening that division and divided us. So that's how they actually rule. They want to weaken us collectively as a uh, group. That is how the, 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 the Chinese Communist Party has been adopting this frame of work, plus the evil communist, uh, communism ideology to combine them right. into what, uh, uh, what they now are calling the ruling of the Chinese Communist Party. That is why you see so much uh, violence, so much killing and death. Actually, Chinese people not only... Uh, the, uh, the, 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 I should say the Chinese people are the biggest victims right. of this totalitarian regime. We've paid so much price um, for the short span of 74 years. And we should look at the, the state of China to understand that we don't want America to become that. 